see how he bounces back after bouncing off the pole on three. Now on the tee of four. Oh, 330 foot forehand here. He's going nine speed. And that's a four for four start for, for Ricky. That's how he's thrown anyway. <laughs> Waisaki. That is a birdie make on hole eight for Rick. Gotta wait for that one to fall in though. Yeah, yeah the truth. Waisaki on 10 as well. Thanks, Azuka, for rolling that back. Waisaki, T of 11. Waisaki on 13's T. Little skip. Oh, yeah. Waisaki. Good clean up after hitting early. Yeah. Waisaki in circle two, putting for birdie, back on 17. <laughs> he just waited for two minutes and then jams it. Right, yeah, he was waiting for those, all those tee shots to happen. Yeah. Like, we did, that's not a replay. That was a, that was a journey. We drove up there. You did? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Waisaki for par wow. from way downtown. Super low line from Rick, Nate. And I think it went inside that tree, if I'm not mistaken. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Just outside the Mando tree, inside the last one. Don't hit that. It's amazing how easy you guys make this look, Nate. Yeah, it's really not that easy, huh? No. That's just a nine speed right there. You Get know, leave early. He kind of stayed oh, in position it, it, for that and then just barely avoided it. Waisaki. Rick is going with that forehand and that pays off for him. to get down, I think. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, That's a big one. Ricky needs to execute. He's got nine speed. Flips it up nicely. That looks a little wide, but swinging in. Oh, great ground play. He's going to match Evan's shot. Up one, two to go. It's that the same got kiss. so much help, Ian. That's even closer. It is. <laughs> Big time. Where the rafter legs at? <laughs> That's as pure as it gets, Ian. That goes a long way into icing this thing down. He puts it on the base of the pyramid for a drop in very finish. And your Cascade Challenge champion, Ricky Wysocki.
I just want to know, you know, we know what it's been like physically for you. Uh, we know it has to be really bad for you to pull out of a tournament, but what has it been like mentally for you to sit out so many tournaments? Like, do you keep up with the pro tour scene? Are you still watching these events or, or what do you do to kind of take care of the mind during this time off? Yeah. I mean, it's a deep, dark place when you go from being best player in the world to not even being able to compete at all. That's a, that's a tough spot to be in for sure. Um, one extreme to the other, but I kind of feel like I felt like a caged animal, just waiting to get out there for competition. And this week was the first week I really felt 100% even all year. Last week I was getting there, but I still wasn't there. And this week I just, I, you know, I felt everything was clicking. My game's feeling good. My mental side's good. And uh, there's just no ailments. And so I think when, obviously when that's the case, I can, I can win at any tournament. And I think that's, you know, reassuring to, to come out here and just, just, uh, just win. And that's, you know, I know I missed a lot of events, so... If I get in position this year, I want to take the strike and win. So you definitely had some moments of brilliance last week at Beaver State. You ended up in 11th place. You come to a course like Shelton, and I want to know, like, what's the difference in the preparation? What was your week like? How many practice rounds did you have, and what shot shapes were you really focused on? Yeah, I mean, out here, it's, it's basically all wooded. There's not a single shot you can relax on and be like, oh, okay, I don't have to hit a gap. It's... You're hitting gaps on every shot. There's OB, and uh, if you miss shots, you're bouncing into tough spots where it's hard to save par. So it's it's all about hitting lines and scrambling. I mean, there's, some of the fairways are so tight that you're scrambling from 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 the fairway, just with weird angles, weird sidearms, weird backhands. So a lot of shot shaping, and I think that was the name of the game out here is just throw it down there as far as you can without hitting a tree and then scramble and, and try to give yourself a lot of opportunities from circle one, and I, I, I did that this week. Evan played great. He's a, he's a great player. This course fits his game really well. He's good at shot shaping. He can throw sidearm backhand, and he hits putts. I mean, you saw that putt on 18. That was that was sick just to keep solo second. Nasty. So he's a force to be reckoned with, and it's, uh, it's going to be great competing with him.